Hey, Dickie Martolo, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv with another warehouse gadget. And this is it. It's from Monster Cable. And strangely enough, it's from Monster Cable, but it uses no cables. It's a way to listen to, to uh, your music, but it doesn't use Wi-Fi, and it doesn't use Bluetooth, and it doesn't use wires. So how could it work? Well, I'll tell you how. Let's unfold it first. It, it works by, actually, this is, you can tell this is old. It's like eight and nine years old. The uh, cup foam is just coming apart here. It works because you wear your music player on your head. Okay. It's not as weird as it sounds. This is called the iFree Play from Monster Cable. And it only worked with the iPod Shuffle. Remember the Shuffle? The Shuffle was great. Tons of songs. Little belt clip in the back or for your shirt. And so this is how it works. There's an opening at the back of one of the head cups and you put this in and it clips in like that. Now there's a slight learning curve because the only way it can go into the monster cable thing is upside down. Okay, so the controls are backwards. Uh, so you have to get a little bit used to that. But once you're used to that, it's not bad. So you're carrying a your music player with you. The sound was so-so, uh, and wearing it was a little, I'll show you how it was meant to, it was, it went behind the ears like that, okay? And it, it's a little annoying because this bar here drags on my neck, and in, in the reviews, a lot of people didn't like it because there was no adjustment for it. Whichever way the ear cups fell, that was it. There was no way to, you know, in modern uh, phones, you can pull them in or out or make adjustments on the headband. There are no adjustments at all on this. The music quality was pretty good for the time and what they were. They were uh, a little bit on the expensive side, less than what you would think for a monster cable. Uh, the headphones were 50 bucks. Um, amazingly, I was doing a little research earlier and the shuffle is still available at a lot of places. Uh, I assume they're uh, all used, but I'm not sure. Starting at about 40 bucks on up to into the hundreds of dollars. Or, uh, I wonder if this is some kind of a knockoff. It's not the mini shuffle. It is the mini shuffling MP3 player. Uh, and so this is, it is a little bit different. So this has no memory of its own. It actually comes with a, it, it doesn't come. It, for seven bucks, you get the player. Then you buy your own M, uh, micro uh, SD card. And I'm looking here, eight, uh, uh, up to eight gigabytes. You load the music onto the micro SD card and then the micro SD card plugs into this guy and then you have your music. The monster cable thing, uh, just played from the memory that was in your shuffle. And as you know, the uh, Apple shuffle, you could not not add memory to it. That's it. Dick DiMartolo, Man's Man, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye.